I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready I think it's a little bit better and Especially in terms of uh, And this shading, I don't like this part, so I changed the T's. Nah. Oh. Oh. Calls are Arctic. Yeah, this one looks good. Um, Uh, I think this just looks like uh, too much tasting. I think maybe the Vita is the best choice. This shader is far better. Okay, as you can see, the nose is a little bit uh, deviated to the right side, so we, we cannot rely on nose, but we can rely on eyes. And the most of the time, maybe we need a little bit tweak. Maybe a little bit. Small details makes that this looks far better. Okay, so we have beautiful smile on the face, and as you can see, this makes something life so far better. And especially in this part, as you can see. We should reduce the T's about one millimeter, and that's because the T's are deviated from the line that is drawing between uh, the eyes. Okay, thank you, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson, and of course, you can uh, use this lesson to demonstrate your patients how do they look like after. Uh, doing surgery, implant, restoration, or whatever else. And you can send the photos in case that you need to send photos to the patient with export photos or export JPEG that shows you the animation of before and after. And in this case, I'm going to export demo smile design. Okay. And we will wait until the software. Okay. And software give me a series of photos and the okay. and this shows me how much do should I reduce from the T's. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you do good Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you